with your mouth. You see, there has to be a confession. Everything that Jesus did on this earth, all the miracles that he did, he, uh, he opened the sight of the, of the blind, he gave, he, he gave hearing to the, the death, he even raised people from the dead. He did it publicly. And God wants us to do a public confession of our faith. So it says that you need to do two things to be assured of your salvation. And number one is to confess your sin. And the other one is to believe in your heart that he did it for you. Now I'm going to tell you very quickly about faith. I struggle with faith. I'm not going to lie to you. But the faith that I have got, I put my faith, it's like trust in the Saviour. Just like you would put your trust in a parachute if you were about to die. Just like you put your, your trust in a pilot that's going to fly you somewhere. We all have a modicum of faith, a modicum of trust. And I'm asking you now, please, 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 don't let this day go by without putting your trust in God. I heard a quick story about a preacher who preached for three days. And on the first day he went to this guy and said, are you a Christian? Do you, have you given your life to the Lord? He said, I've been coming to this church for 30 years and I don't know. And this guy said, well, we need to get this right because we can go at any time. And he prayed with him that night and he gave his life to the Lord. The preacher turned up on the second day. There was a commotion outside the church. And the guy that he preached to, the guy that had been going to this church for 30 years, he found him on the floor, he got knocked down, he killed instantly. If it weren't for the fact that the night before that he gave his life to Christ, who knows where he would have ended up now. So I'm saying to you now, today is the day of your salvation. I'm going to say a quick prayer. I'm not going to embarrass any of you. I'm going to say a quick prayer and we're going to ask for this salvation to happen. It says that if you give your life to God, you become a child of God. Yeah, we're still living in, 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 a, in a sinful bodies, but you become a new creation in, in, in Christ. So I'm going to pray a prayer. And all I want you to do is, if you if, you, if this is some, some home, if, if you feel that the Spirit speaking to you now, forget your fear, forget your pride. Just give your life to Christ, give him a go. Put your trust in him, like I said, like you would do in a parachute if you were about to die. Lord, I just pray right now for the people of Sheffield. Lord, I just pray that you, you know that I am a sinner, that, but I repent from that. I ask you to come into my life right now and be my Lord and Saviour. Lord, I don't understand it all, but I know that I'm on a journey. And if you are real, I want you to come and be my, and be, and be my, be my Lord and Saviour. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe in this gift. And all I ask now, Lord, is that I want to receive this free gift. I don't deserve it, but I, I'll receive it. And if you prayed that prayer in your life, all I ask you to do now, very quickly, put your hand up. Just that. If you, if you pray that, amen, amen, brother. Is there anybody else who wants to give their life to Jesus Christ now? That wants forgiveness, that wants to know the true love of Christ? If you felt a bit shy about putting your hand up, but you still want to know a little bit more, I understand it can be really hard for you all. There's, we've got a team of people around here. Just come over and have a chat with us, yeah? And even if, even if, you, do you know what, if you're struggling, with, if you're struggling with faith issues, if you're struggling, if you've got money worries, if you've got um, a disease, if you've got anything of affliction, and you think, do you know what, I'm going to put my faith in it, we'll pray for you. We believe in a God that's real, that's still alive today. He didn't, you know, he didn't die just 2,000 years ago and left us. He's going to be with us forever. So if you want us to pray with you, we'd love to do that. Thank you for listening and God bless. Thank you.